Good morning, everyone. It is Monday again. Here's what I'm taking with me to work today. So I have my regular coffee for zero smart points with one tablespoon of fat-free half and half for zero smart points. I have here my Herbiframe Tea Talks for zero smart points. I have one serving here for zero points with lemon juice. And then I have my second serving in my secret compartment here um, with lemon that I will have later. So one serving for zero smart points before lunch and one serving for zero smart points before dinner. I usually um, drink it like on the way home. So um, then breakfast over here is basically the same as last week, really only because I did not have time to meal prep what I really wanted. So this is my egg. It's gonna be a poached egg for zero smart points. And then this is the Mott's unsweetened strawberry applesauce for zero smart points. So an egg and applesauce for zero. Lunch is essentially just leftovers from a meal that I had last week. Um, so these are the leftovers and I just put them in the dish and threw them in the freezer because I knew there would be a morning like this where I needed to just have something fast. So this is salmon for zero smart points, about a third cup of corn for zero smart points, and some of the air fryer french fries for two smart points. So lunch will be two smart points. And then snack is right here. I have the apple, or sorry, this is a banana. This is a banana um, that I will be eating on the way home from work also as well. And then this is cranberry yogurt. That looks so good. So I measured out, I'm still measuring out only half cup of yogurt because I don't wanna overeat the yogurt. So I measured out a half cup of Chobani Original Plain Non-Fat Yogurt for zero points, half cup. And then I used about a third cup of this. This is my cranberry sauce that I make, which is basically just sugar-free jello, cranberries, and some oranges and orange rind. Um, and you cook it all together, it is zero smart points. So about a third a cup of this stirred into the yogurt. So cranberry yogurt, zero points. Everything I'm taking with me today before dinner is going to be two points, and that is for the fries. Hello guys, happy Monday. We're at the tail end of January already. Can you believe it? Here's my outfit of the day today. I have on my superwoman cape today. Eddie said my hair matches my clothes because it's all swept back. I said I'm swept back and ready to fly forward and face the day onward and upward. <laughs> anyway, about this weekend, you guys, I feel great about this weekend. Great. Because, hang on, there's a lot of just random people at the park today, so feeling a little self-conscious. Anyway, so even though I went over my points both days this week, actually three days, because Friday I ended at 34 points, Saturday was 76, and Sunday was 65. So I went over all three days, but I still have seven points left, seven fit points left, so I'm not going to end the week negative. And even though I did go over on points all three days, I was not eating volumes and volumes and volumes. So I feel really good about it. I also did my one mile minimum each of those days and I hit 16,000 steps on Saturday. So I think I had a really, really good weekend overall compared to so many of my weekends. So I feel like I'm very, very much on track and I can't wait to see what the scale says on Tuesday. I actually don't feel any thinner or anything right now. Um, I feel about the same, so the scale might be the same, and that's okay, I guess. Um, I just feel like I did great this weekend, so. Um, this coming weekend is actually going to be a little harder, or a lot harder, because we are going out of town, and so we're going to be traveling for two days. We're gonna be in the car for like six to eight hours on Friday and Sunday, and then Saturday, a big portion of our day is um, the schedule is not under my control so not sure how this weekend will play out also um, the food no idea what the food's gonna be like so 
Super excited though, we are taking the trip that my sister got for us to the Grand Canyon. It is a rim to rim trip on a motor coach, I think, so it's probably like a tour bus, but very excited. I have never been to the Grand Canyon. Can you believe that? I've never been to the Grand Canyon. Um, all the food is included. The hotel stay for two nights is included. It's just such a cool gift. I was super excited, so I'm very excited to go. And I only have four work days this week. That's always very, very fun. So, um, very, very fun. Fat Doug. <laughs> anyway, I'm headed back to work. I will probably get my 16,000 steps today because I'm going to be running four miles after work. I will probably do a lunch walk with my friend. If he's not able to today, I'm probably just gonna stay in and get things done because I have just a million things to do. And I have a meeting this afternoon and I just need to stay on top of things this week. So, but if he wants to walk, I will walk and get some steps and I'll see you guys later. It is 7.20 and we are headed home. Not only did I run four miles, I ran four fast miles. 6.5 miles an hour to 7.5 miles an hour. And 7.5 was challenging because I don't really run fast anymore. It's not my main focus. So anything over 7.0 was challenging, but I felt pretty good. I decided it was time to push myself after having two days off this weekend where I just ran a mile each day. So I pushed myself and then the rest of the miles this week will just be calm and relaxing. I even had time to lift some weights. I did some tricep pulls and some bicep curls and I hate lifting weights. So. Okay, I am making a few egg cups for my breakfast for this week. I'm going to use them for breakfast and then freeze some as well. So I'm starting out with this spaghetti squash. So all this is is spaghetti squash, which looks like this before you do anything with it. And then the inside looks like this. So I used probably about a cup and a half of spaghetti squash. And I mixed with that a half cup of fat-free shredded cheddar. A half a cup is one smart point, but you're dividing it between 12 servings. So it's gonna be zero smart points. And the spaghetti squash is zero smart points. I also added an egg and stirred it up really well with some of this Trader Joe's everything but the bagel sesame seasoning, and then put it in this muffin tin. So everything I have so far is zero smart points, spaghetti squash, an egg, and half a cup of fat-free shredded cheddar to be divided between 12 servings and the seasoning. All zero smart points. I'm going to put it in the oven right now at 425 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay, I'm also prepping some chicken in the air fryer. This is for my lunches for the next two days. So the large chicken chunks is for Wednesday and the smaller ones is for lunch tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to put this in the air fryer. This thing is like so super easy, I'm telling you. And then I have on top just some of this Trader Joe's everyday seasoning. So doing a little meal prep on a Monday night. Okay, here are my spaghetti squash cups so far. Um, so they've been in the oven for 20 minutes. They are slightly browned on the edges and the bottom. So now I'm gonna crack an egg into each one. I turned the oven down to 375 and I'm going to bake it with the egg now for about five to eight minutes. The recipe calls for eight minutes, but I wanna have them slightly undercooked because I'm going to have to reheat them each time I have one. So I just don't want the egg like really, really cooked. So um, here I go, next step. Okay, here's my egg cups ready to go back in the oven at 375 for about five to eight minutes. And I just put a little bit more of the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel sesame seasoning right on top. Okay, here are my finished spaghetti squash egg cups. These look so good. I would eat one of these right now. So you can see the yolk is, um, it's almost done actually. Like right now it would probably be just a little runny. Um, so unfortunately when I reheat them later to eat them, they probably, the yolk will just cook up. So next time I actually cook these for 10 minutes. So I don't know, I wanna like undercook them, but I don't wanna get sick by undercooking them and then having them in the fridge or freezer and then cooking again. So I don't know. Anyway, these look perfect to me right now. So I am going to have 
four of these this week and then I'm going to freeze the rest. So these are spaghetti squash egg cups for zero smart points. Okay, here is what Eddie made for dinner tonight. He made it in the air fryer. It looks so delicious. He actually cooked both of these at the same time. So what he did was he put the butternut squash in first and put the rack on top of it. And then he put the small baking pan on top of the rack and put the chicken inside that. So pretty impressive. I don't know how long he cooked it for or what temperature, but it looks really good. So this is just butternut squash with some seasonings, zero smart points. This is chicken breast, um, tomato sauce, Italian seasoning, and onions. And that is all zero smart points as well. So I will show you guys what this looks like when I plate it up to eat Here's it. my dinner all plated up. So the butternut squash on the bottom for zero smart points. And then I have the chicken, tomato sauce, onion, Italian seasoning mixture on top of that. And then on the very top, I added a quarter cup of Kraft fat-free shredded mozzarella for zero smart points. So everything here is zero smart points. Great job, Eddie. Looks delicious. And there is my Bellini, 18 smart points with frozen grapes. So that gives me 18 plus two for lunch, 20 smart points for my day. Mm -hmm.